oruko temi ni abdulatif lawab adeboyega oko alaja aisha at least anjorin lawab gbogbo eyin abi amu agbaye eyin ni mo pe o ka ba mi gbo nti mo fe so leni ke je rogbon ko abi meji ko nibe hi beautiful people and welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to be having a very long discussion no it's not going to be actually very long but it's a very interesting discussion because this has been a story that has been in the news for a long time now and finally the husband of the woman that is involved have decided to say his side of the story now when lizzie and Jorin, popular nigerian actress turned entrepreneur and a recent mother of one got married I doubt she knew that her marriage was going to be played with so much drama and that she would have to explain from the very first day she announced her marriage up until now even after she's giving birth to a child now her husband mr latif lawal who has been accused of being how should i refer to him now okay let's just go to a backstory let's start from there guys now lizzie and Jorin has always come out to defend herself and her husband there was a time she was even fighting tony abraham saying that tony abraham has been peddling rumors concerning her and one of the repeating factors in the problem that lizzie and Jorin has faced in her marriage is a lady called fola now latif lawa has children from multiple women he is a muslim man and according to him he has every right as a muslim man to be married to more than one wife however some of his wives have come out to say that Latif Lawal did not let them know he was going to take another wife and that they were legally married. For that, you me or call him. What I say, wedding, I say, Nikai, I say, I shall woo. Edjo, I found to conduct in the Kaiwa, and you could that way for you could have been break up and edited for a sorrow. For that, I say, wedding, you me or call him. I found to conduct what could that say. Fair news that is she could that the post over for me. That is all Lizzie and Jorin has been shouting, saying that she is the only Lego wife and that none of the women who are claiming to be his wives were legally Now, one woman, Monsura, who is also referred to as Iya Amida, used to be married to him and then there is a lady called Fola who used to to so date him, they have children ah, together at, uh, apparently. Latif Lawal has now come out to <laughs> explain his own side of the story. <laughs> to tell us how Fola came into the picture, how the second wife came into the picture, how the other wife came into the picture, how Lizzie and Jorin came into the picture, and basically to exonerate his wife. And hopefully this will dead the old drama that has been concerning Lizzie and Jorin now for a couple of months. According to him, he was married earlier to a ramota who has a child called ayomidi and some other children for him but that the relationship was toxic and so based on advice from different people and both of them coming to the realization that their marriage is actually a very stupid one they decided to leave themselves he wasn't legally married to her either now afterwards he met a woman called monsurat iya amuda who gave birth to some other children for him about three or four kids for him but then they had nikai which is what the muslim marriage is referred to so he married her according to muslim right i'm giving you like a literal translation of everything this man said in that video it was about an hour long i'm trying to make this video very short so that we'll just get right to the bottom of everything i understand what is going on so that yeah we can have the gist and a discussion about it now the setting the video is a very edited one was beautifully shot it was a well shot well rehearsed video in my opinion now according to him when he married Montura, she was a homely girl it was lovely between them but shortly after he started to realize that this lady is a serial cheater he gave three instances when he came home and met men in his home you know so the third time that broke the camel's back for him was when he came home to meet somebody that he used to think was his wife's uncle his wife's colleague and whatnot in their house said that was really painful and humiliating for him because this is somebody that his then wife used to send him to Sometimes he said this lady would tell him to go drop money for this man because they were contributing money together, they have businesses together, and he would gladly do that. So seeing that he was really mad and it turned into a very big fight. And now they were fighting and people were asking what happened. He couldn't even say what was wrong because he was very ashamed. And so after that time, both of them 
decided to leave and the woman said no you're not going to leave all this place with any of your things you're going to just leave with your clothes because anything that you bought into the, in this house is now mine and for my children so the rented apartment so he just left with his clothes and then went to squats with his friend but then he said Fola came into the picture that is two wives already with multiple kids honestly at this point i've lost track of the number of kids he says he had Fola came at the point when the marriage with Monturat was very rocky and that when he met Fola, Fola um, said she was a single mother. She was a single woman. And he was planning to marry her. But then his friends and people were like, see, do research on this girl. She's not without child. He has two children for a former husband who is now deceased. So he went to her, pushed her, and then she finally revealed that, yes, indeed, she used to be married. And she has two kids. And ladies are there saying different stories, apologizing, and okay mr latif is like one of the most forgiven man i've ever heard of <laughs> i've heard say story because he forgave this woman for lying and trying to string him along and you know marry him under false pretenses basically that because that's what would have been if he had married and not knowing she had children but i decided to still go ahead with dating her so they used to sleep together and whatnot but he passed on the marriage plans then he got to a point when he would go to see her and she would not be at home he would have to wait outside for days blah 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 so he ghosted and stopped talking to her fast forward a few weeks she came to his house pregnant saying that he is responsible and he was like okay this cannot be mine but because well he says he loves children and he believes that every child needs to be taken care of he rented an apartment for this lady put her there and said okay you will give birth to this child and afterwards we would go for a dna test to confirm that this child is man because you really cannot deny since he slept with her and the lady said okay no problem that he would go there while she was so pregnant and, do, and wouldn't meet Party. her at home she would do so really, really 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 rough between them well, and after she gave birth right. to the child she refused him so dna but because he's a beautiful man guy at this point i was just like okay. 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 He said, he was a very peaceful man, he decided to just let go and he was paying her bills. I can't even say him, Fola is a very lazy woman. He gave the address of where Fola lived, but Fola used to leave. He was going to go at the night ball because he never at a point legally married to this woman. He just bought the child for him and he's just been paying her bills because she's a very lazy woman. He's been paying her bills because she's a very Relaxed and be taken care of and all she does is party that sometimes she was actually taking care of other kids the two children she bought for now the sister's banning now where Monturat's situation is coming up apparently Monturat and Fola are now friends who have ganged up to say yes Lizzie and Jory took their husband now I'm wondering what exactly does Lizzie and Jory have or what exactly is happening that these women would want to have this man to themselves now he played audio recordings to say that it's a lie these women were fully aware that he wanted to marry lizzie and Jorin because they used to be friends in that is to say that lizzie and Jorin has been in his life for the very for the longest time just like lizzie and Jorin's story has been consistently saying lizzie and Jorin has said that she's known this man for a long time for for plenty donkey years but they just did not marry themselves and that is what he's saying that these people have been friends they've been family friends for the longest time monsurat was aware that this yamuda was aware and also that since himself and this monsurat yamuda woman has left themselves she's remarried so she's in someone else's house currently she's a wife to someone else and he's still trying to insist that she is married to mr lawal and he's saying what is happening here guys so that is like the crux of the matter mr lawal is saying that he has no legal ties to these women the only thing joining him with these women are his children who he takes care of he also said that monsurat took the children she bought for him to omwaron kwara state where her mother resides that he just went to their house one day because he used to go see his children time to time and then he realized they were no home and then ayomide who is the daughter of his first wife told him because i am they used to live with monsuras told him that she's taking the kids away and he's not seeing his kids and she's not picking his she's not picking his calls but then she's granting interviews with Fola to say that lizzie and Jorin are taking their man so he's calling on nigerians to please come to his aid <laughs> and help him talk about this now i 
have a few things to say because first of what is it with the editing that was constantly showing family pictures of himself and lizzie and jerry i'm like come on we know you're married you don't need to put <laughs> i mean it just makes the whole thing feel a little bit staged i mean like okay but then like i kind of understand these points though Paula herself acknowledge lizzie and jerry so it's like why the eight now what exactly is happening do you want to take my life you are a married woman yourself leave me alone if it's if they were fighting just for last for hala meanwhile for life that's another child for this man no see this man eh he said that first was asking for jenny because wasn't sure the first child was his yet you still sleep you slept with this woman another time such that she even got pregnant and now said it was the second pregnancy that he refused and said no this child cannot be mine right this child cannot be mine because one of his children confirmed to him that one of his friends was sleeping with Fola that she he used to come sleep over in the house he rented for this woman and so he said that the child is not his and that was that was what actually made them go separate ways but he still pays pays abuse but then he decided that nah i can never ever have a future with you except for the children that we have or the child that i want to believe is mine even though you've refused me a dna test but that is what is going on between himself and Fola, and that is the matter. So, Mr. Latif Lawal has come to explain his own side of the story. What do you guys think of this pool and everything that is happening with Lizzie and Jorin? She's a mother already. She has a child for this man. Latif Lawal is in, his, is in her house. They're having a good time as a family, as a couple together. I don't see, I don't understand why both of them want to just be right in the faces of the people. We don't need this. Just live your family life. Like literally, if you have this family problem, you don't need to, we don't need to see it on the internet. But then if you don't sit on the internet, there won't be a lot of things for us to say. So yes, please bring in, keep bringing your matches today. <laughs> Sonia, we love to see it here. We love to see it over here. <laughs> guys, what do you guys think? I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do that. And also turn on the bell button so you will not miss uploads from us. Aside from that, like this video. If you enjoy it, share it to family, friends, foes. Share it with everybody that is shareable with. Link, WhatsApp every other social media platform i would love to see you share it and bring people to this channel so that they will enjoy of the goodness that will bring to you from our end i'll see you in the next video guys until such time take care of yourself and keep being peaceful bye